So I'm walking down the street, stop at a coffee mm-hmm. place. They hand me my coffee mm-hmm. out the window. I keep walking. It's a caramel macchiato. It's great. Keep walking. Yeah, good. Keep walking. Uh, I walk into this room and hey, Kevin Bacon's standing there. And he's just looking at me. And I'm like, what's up? You know, he doesn't say Bacon. anything. I just keep walking. The Kevin Bacon. I just keep walking. Wow. All of a sudden, the ground shaking. Whoa. 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 Hold on a second. What's- Wait a minute. I'm on the set of Tremors. <laughs> <laughs> what? Whoa. Oh yeah, it was God, crazy. Nuts. That is nuts. How's it going, guys? <laughs> What's up? I'm Joey. I'm Cole. And uh, let's give this a shot, man. Let's give it a shot. All righty. You want to go first or you want me to go first? Uh, rock, paper, scissors. All right. Let's see if we can do rock, paper, scissors in here. I <laughs> know. But hold on. Is it rock, paper, scissors, shoot? Or is it rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Come on, bro. Okay. That's um, okay. Rock, rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Most anticlimactic uh, rock, paper, scissors in the world. <laughs> it's so slow. I know. <laughs> um, all right. Headline. Canadian runner breaks world record for joggling 6.2 miles. Joggling? Can you guess what joggling is? Is it are, is is this person juggling while they jog? You got it. <laughs> right on the dot. <laughs> All righty. Uh, it says um, July 11th, which is a two-day. Ooh, so this is breaking this, news. Today, this is breaking news. We're on the cusp. <laughs> uh, breaking news here on Let's Give It a Shot. A Canadian runner unofficially broke a Guinness World Record for joggling, juggling while running. When he reached a distance of 6.2 miles in 34 minutes and 47 seconds. Wow. So the whole time he was power jogging and juggling. That's know. impressive. I mean, can you juggle? I actually, I can juggle. Yeah, uh, I can juggle. <laughs> y- yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of weird talent to have. I actually, I don't know a lot of people who can juggle. Actually. Uh, I mean, it's weird, but I also used to do a lot of really weird stuff when I was in the basement alone. I mean, I yeah. used, used to have throwing knives and all that stuff. So <laughs> juggling right up my alley. <laughs> But it's weird to ask Santa for juggling balls. Yeah, a set of jugg- <laughs> a, a juggling set. Yeah, it is a. I, I did that. It is an odd thing. Okay, I I think I got mine at a flea market. So <laughs> no, no, Santa gave me mine. Uh, so that was weird. Um, but uh, I'll go back to the story here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, the fastest ten kilometer joggling with three objects. That's what he was trying to beat. Um, and okay. when he finished with a time of 34 minutes and 47 seconds, beating the current record of 36 minutes and 27 seconds. So he beat it. Hmm. Um, he previously is... attempted the record in 2018, but he, and he finished with a time of 35 minutes and 36 seconds, but this run was disqualified on a technicality, I guess. Did he, did he um, run at one point? I, I don't know. I, it, it, it doesn't say. It doesn't say why he was disqualified. So it's uh, like uh, uh, that was a skip in there. You skipped at one point. All right, that's yeah, not a jog. Like, or maybe he like dropped one of the balls and just picked it up and kept going. Like yeah, maybe I don't know. So uh, yeah, he's uh, like, uh, he in quotes, I feel exhausted. My feet are hurting, but super happy. <laughs> all right, two thumbs up. Does it say what he was juggling? Is it just balls or it shows a picture and it's just the it's balls yeah okay so uh nothing like swords or yeah <laughs> it would have been impressed with those knives maybe uh but yeah uh that's pretty cool i guess good for you i guess <laughs> yeah i guess uh, yeah i mean I mean, that's pretty know. crazy but i mean i don't think i definitely couldn't don't think i could jog the uh what is it 10 you said 10 kilometers or 10 kilometers whatever it is 6.2 miles yeah total. 6.2 mi- yeah i don't know if i could jog 6.2 miles in 30 minutes yeah I don't let alone do it while so. juggling 
Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's impressive, but. All right, you ready for mine? Yeah, hit me with it. Well, let me get close these ads real quick. Stuffing up my screen. Pregnant woman ticketed in HOV lane says fetus should count as passenger. I saw this. I saw this. <laughs> uh, oh, hold on. All right. On July 10th, this happened yesterday, uh, per this recording, uh, a pregnant woman ticketed for driving in a high, high occupancy vehicle lane in Texas says her fetus should count as a second passenger, citing the recent Supreme Court ruling overturning Roe v. Wade. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I like it. I mean, it's it is a, a good argument. Like that is as loophole as it gets, in Heck my yeah. opinion. Um, Brandy Boton, Boton, uh, Boton maybe I don't know. B o t t o n e, uh, of Plano, Texas, a suburb of Dallas, was driving in the H O V lane on U S Highway 75 on June 29th when she was pulled over after passing a Dallas County Sheriff's Department checking point targeting those driving in the lane alone the dallas morning news reported on friday uh when law enforcement asked her if anyone else was in the car button responded oh shit on uh responded that there was and then pointed to her stomach <laughs> uh, my belly. <laughs> quote my baby girl is right here she is a person button told the officer recounting the incident to the newspaper bond said the deputies told her that the law required there would be two people outside of <laughs> Uh, Botten said that the deputies told her that the law required there be two people outside of the body to drive in the HOV lane. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Texas Penal Code defines as individuals as a, quote, human being who is alive, including an unborn child at every stage of gestation. However, the Texas Transportation Code does not recognize that distinction. Quote, one officer kind of brushed me off when I mentioned that this is a living child, according to everything that's going on with the overturning of Roe v. Wade, Botten said. The deputies gave her the citation despite her protest of the law, but told her it would likely get dropped if she were to fight it in court. Quote, they still gave me a ticket, so my $215 ticket was written to cause inconvenience, quote, she asked. Uh, quote, this, is my, uh, this has my blood boiling. How could this be fair? According to the new law, this is a life. I know that this may fall on deaf ears, but as a woman, this was shocking. But uh, sorry, Button told KXAS TV when she was 34 weeks pregnant at the time of the traffic stop and plans to fight the ticket in court. Quote, different judges might treat this differently. This is uh, uncharted territories we're in now. Dallas appellate lawyer Chad Rubrick said there is no Texas statute that says that what uh, what to do in this situation. The Texas Transportation Code has not been amended recently to address this particular situation. Amy O'Donnell, spokesperson for the anti-abortion group uh, Texas Alliance for Life, noted that, quote, a child residing in a mother's room is not taking up extra seat. And cry. Man. <laughs> quote, the, with only one occupant taking up a seat, the car did not meet the criteria needed to drive in that lane, she said. Button scheduled to appear in court on July 20th to fight her ticket. So, <clears throat> This is an interesting little tidbit here. This, yeah. um, <clears throat> I think it's a great loophole to try to take. I, I mean, think if, so. If they're going to strip your rights away, you might as well use it whatever. Exactly. You got to flip it. I say go for it. Yeah, you got to flip go it. But it. I, what yeah. I find most interesting is that this anti-abortion spokesperson disagrees with this. Yeah. I think like I think if you're going to take an anti-abortion stance then this should be uh one of those instances where you have to say well I mean she's right like <laughs> right you know what I mean like I don't I mean to be anti-abortion and then on the other hand be like well that doesn't count that seems a little right six one half dozen the other but yeah I Honestly, thought it was an interesting way to look like try to use it to this person's advantage I don't yeah, know what her stance is on it or what, but she kind of seems like I, she was trying to boom flip it on him. Yeah, I think it's funny, and I think it's good that, you know, it's right here in my belly. Yeah. But <laughs> but uh, honestly, I feel like I feel like 
pregnant ladies should have their own lane in traffic anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, why not? I mean, <laughs> I think so yeah. too. I mean, probably. I mean, uh, yeah. I feel like they're doing one of the hardest things in life that anyone can do. Uh, yeah, you know, something so, I wouldn't definitely do. <laughs> so. uh, exactly. Uh, I don't want to do and that. And then to but, be driving uh, a car on top of that. Yeah. So you know what? Hopefully I'd, she can. I'd win. give up the left lane for pregnant woman. That's fine with me. hundred uh, percent. They can have it. Hundred percent. I would. Yep. Yep. All righty. Yeah. You got another so, one? Yeah, I got one more here. Uh, no. Right. The heading goes: A distillery is fighting invasive crabs by turning them into whiskey. <laughs> Whoa! Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on a second. Yeah, crab crabs, whiskey. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch out. Because you may be turned into whiskey. Yeah. So, uh, they're small, they're green, they're crustaceans. And now... Whoa, these crabs are green? They're whiskey. Yeah, Whoa. it actually shows a picture of them. It's not like they're like... They're not like super They're not green. like emerald green? No, but uh, like, I don't know, honestly, the tip kind of looks a little yellow and black, kind of. But uh, uh, Dirty. Yeah. You would probably call them dirty. <laughs> That's what, yeah, it kind of looks like that. Yeah, dirt crabs. <laughs> but uh, I guess they're an invasive species uh, in New Hampshire and uh, was it Michigan somewhere? I don't know. But uh, they're, yeah, here we go. And gr green crabs are the invasive pests that have plagued North America's marine ecosystems for more than 200 years. Holy cow, they've been here for a while. Well, I mean, at that point, uh, they're just part of the ecosystem. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> distillery is fighting back all righty uh, it's taken on the problem by using mm -hmm. them to make green crab flavored whiskey that sounds i mean whiskey is gross but to make it crab whiskey sounds just <laughs> atrocious I, well, i'm good says, no thank you green crabs are so abundant that it's going to take a lot more than whiskey to curb the population but okay. some hope bringing awareness to the issue will lead to creative solutions so Tamworth Distilling Crab Trapper Whiskey gets some of its flavor from green crabs caught off the coast of New Hampshire. Uh, oh. The crabs hitched a ride to the United States on ships coming from Europe around the 1800s. Um, here they eat tons of shellfish and destroy estuaries and fish habitats. Uh, so hmm. yeah, basically what they're doing, um, catching these crabs and cooking them up into whiskey mashing them down um, in some whiskey yeah it says people are going to hear crab whiskey and i'd venture to say three quarters of them are going to say are going to go absolutely not he said yeah. but if you can get them to taste it they totally change their tune for most part that's what okay I, that's a straight up lie i mean i would take a shot if someone's like hey you want some crab whiskey i'd be like yeah i'll do a shot just for the be able to say I'll i've try drink, it. I've drunk yeah. a crab <laughs> I've, I've slipped down a crab but i definitely in no way shape or form would expect it to taste at all good like i said whiskey's gross let alone crab whiskey yeah yeah i don't know it seems wild the bottles look cool but uh yeah it's called crab trapper It's kind of cool. Right. It's like, you know what, whiskey? Or no, not whiskey. You know what, crabs? <laughs> We're going to put this whiskey in this place. Back. <laughs> yeah. Come here. Come We're here, turning crab. you into whiskey. We're mashing you down. You know, America's problems, whiskey now. we just solve it by turning it into alcohol. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's what the prohibition was, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, pretty cool. I don't know. Uh, I'd try yeah, it. I mean, I think I would definitely give it a shot. Hey, you'd give it a shot? <laughs> I would Whoa. do a shot. Well, let's give it a shot. <laughs> hey, let's give it a shot. You got to try anything All else. All right, what you got for me? Missing dog reunited with former Florida resident after eight years. Eight years? This is uh, July 7th. This took place. Oh, a former God. Florida woman was reunited with her dog eight years after the canine went missing. The Lee County Sheriff's Office said in a Facebook post that Betsy DeHaan adopted a pit bull named Harley from Lee County Domestic Animal Services in the Fort Myers, uh, in Fort Myers in 2013. And then dog disappeared Aww. about a year later. Quote, 
uh, we, uh, we searched and cruised and looked and put up posters and sent out the wanted missing pet and just never stopped looking for him. Dahan told W I N K TV, uh, Dahan and her family moved to Gainesville. Uh, is that Minnesota? Is it, is that Mo Minnesota? Missouri? Is it Missouri? I'm really curious now. Yeah, look it up while I, while I continue. Uh, yeah. A few years later, and never expected to hear a word of Harley, uh, Angie Bray, a volunteer at a Lee County Animal Rescue Center, said she was connected recently by a family who spotted a brown pit bull wandering loose in a Fort Myers neighborhood. Uh, Bray took the dog to a veterinarian where the canine's microchip identified him as Harley. Dahan said Harley's re- uh, reappearance was, quote, like a miracle. Uh, Dahan yeah. drove. Yeah, Dahan drove about 1,200 miles to reunite with Harley. "Quote: He still oh has the gosh. same great snuggler he always was." Dahan said in a comment on the sheriff's office, uh, sheriff office's Facebook post. But yeah, dude. That's... Eight years. It is Missouri, by the way. Is it Missouri? Uh, yeah. Nice. Eight years without your pup. Eight years. I mean, that's crazy. I mean. <clears throat> It it's wild that that dog lived eight years just roaming about. Like he had to have yeah, like found it. a family, right, and then got out. I was out. just saying, I feel like someone was probably like taking care of him or something. I yeah, don't maybe know. he was just chilling, like living in someone's backyard for a couple of years, and they moved or whatever, and he just got out. Maybe maybe somebody found him, took him in, and then he got out from their house. Right. So, I mean, kind of sounds like this one's a slippery fella. Uh, yeah. Uh, so maybe he got out from their house, and then. Because they don't say anything about him being like, like dehydrated or like looking rough. Right. He, right. Um, wow. That yeah, I, I imagine that reunion is probably like. I hope. Oh, yeah. I wonder if the dog was like so amped or like. Oh yeah. Yeah. I wonder. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I've seen yeah, like videos where that. like a missing dog for like two years or something and they reunite and it's like, Oh my gosh, like a dog can't contain. Yeah. Oh yeah can't, or just whatever. shaking just about. Yeah. That would be crazy. Great. Yeah. I, I mean, I, yeah, I wish I would have, I wish they would have said how the reunion went. Yeah. But yeah, that was, uh, that was my weird news. Kolsky. That was anything some good else? news. Uh, that I think, good... no, that's it. I think we've updated the public on the important news. Yeah. The, so... the breaking cutting edge. Keep you on the the tip of your toes. Yeah, news. I mean joggling, dogs joggling. reuniting. I yeah. mean, uh, this is the important legal loopholes. Stuff. Yeah, legal this loopholes and a... uh, crab whiskey. There's nothing <laughs> more important that there, you really there is need nothing. To... I don't think I could have gone another day without knowing that crab whiskey exists. Exactly, and now that everyone knows, I mean, you don't even need to watch the news. You have everything. Like, yeah, you got it all right. You're here. good. You just did. just cancel your 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 TV service. We got you. Once a week, we'll update you on what's going on in the world, and you'll be you'll be peachy keen. Don't even worry about it. YouTube is free. It is free. Oh, so, <laughs> must pay for the premium, which is or whatever, which, which is, is dumb. Don't do that. Why would you do that? Which is stupid. It is stupid. Uh, but uh, sorry, if you I think that, we got a. You're not stupid. <laughs> so I think we got a segment we got to get to. What do you? Yeah, think? let's do it. All right, let's 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 head on over there. We will meet you over there. And hello again. We are here in our first segment. We're going to give some quick tips. Now, these are tips that you're going to want to implement in your everyday life. You're 100% going to want to listen to every single one of them. And don't stray. Don't, don't second guess us. Just 100% believe everything we say. Honestly, you should get your pen and notebook out. And yeah, write get these a down. get a pen and notebook. Hold on, give give them a minute. All right, give them a second. They're hold on. They're digging through their junk drawers. They're the, the pen they have by their desk. Oh, what's that, that in that junk drawer? I see something there that needs to be thrown out. I feel like yeah, that's okay. disgusting. Okay. Is that a live mouse trap in there? Wow, man. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mo- yeah. Move the three... full head screwdriver over. Three flashlights I see in there. None yeah, of them. Yeah, and work. a bunch of loose candles. <laughs> Which is just a bunch of loose birthday candles. You're never going to use them. Throw them out because if you get, you have them, and then you go buy new ones anyway. All right, they Slide got their them. pen and paper. Nice, nice. Let's go. Yeah. No, uh, go ahead and write these down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire one off real quick for you, Kolsky. You ready? Yeah, it's I'm a ready. Quick to tip. Go. Yeah. No place is ever truly closed if you bring a brick. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's smart. You're That's, smart yeah. right there. That's yeah. thinking. That's a quick tip. Oh man, I got one here. Uh, yeah. This goes along in the service industry. Um, mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Uh, never trust an electrician with no eyebrows. <laughs> that's a a good tip Uh, i'm Uh, just gonna go ahead and say if anyone walks up to your door with no eyebrows (laughs) don't trust them (laughs) don't trust them um uh, here's a good one if you think you're gonna lose a game just fake a heart attack (laughs) (laughs) so you're saying you're playing a monopoly game we've been going for about five hours because that's how long a monopoly game lasts Naturally. We're getting there. You're about to buy Good Park to Place. End. It's about to be over. Mm. <laughs> Drop yep. down to the ground. <laughs> Nobody. No, it is important. It is. Yeah, oh, exactly. It is important that you make sure that nobody takes you to the hospital. You insist on going yourself. And then when you see them the next time, like, you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm fine. But, uh, you know, it sucks that uh, nobody won that Monopoly game. <laughs> yeah. sucks we didn't get to finish it what a bummer yeah, what are you gonna know? do i think yeah, i could have had do? you <laughs> yeah they're I'm like pretty sure dude you had let's just say bucks. i was definitely <laughs> i was definitely gonna win but we'll just say everybody lost it was it yeah, was non yeah. it was undetermined that. <laughs> let's just be safe that's a good tip i like that that's a good tip oh uh, all right well my next tip is cooking related uh when cooking kale be sure to put it on high for about five minutes and then scrape it right into the trash. <laughs> That's the best tip you could get, man. That's the best tip you have. Don't eat kale. Kale's gross. It's don't disgusting. Eat kale. it's, yeah, it's, I don't know why. It's just you can find better food on the forest floor. Um, <laughs> all right. You ready for this one? Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> If you get a text from a random number offering offering you free investing types on or free investing tips on cryptocurrencies, take it. You know they're gonna blow, a cryptocurrency is gonna blow up soon. I I prom. Oh, wait a second. I wrote this one down in 2018. Just forget that. Just forget that one. Uh, time. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. Uh, that was I a good one. That. All right. Uh, This one helps you if you're in Menards, specifically. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. (laughs) If you ever need a worker to help you at Menards, then just try starting up the display chainsaw, and they will come right over. (laughs) They they will get there quick. I promise (laughs) you that is the best way to get someone's attention. That is the best way. Man, that is a good tip. It worked like All a right. charm last time. Yeah. It was yeah, like I'm sure eight of them came swarming yeah. over. <laughs> yeah. Ready and to help you with whatever like, you needed. I'm looking for filler for drywall. Like, oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Where is the, uh, where's your guys' hooks at? I got to hang up some, <laughs> some towels. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, this is a very, very quick tip. Uh, never turn your back on a tiger. <laughs> okay smart hey, that is the best tip you can i could possibly if anybody asked me what's the most useful tip you can offer me right now i would say never in your life turn your back on a tiger that could mean emotionally or physically <laughs> that's true we've learned that from lion king <laughs> yeah it's true yeah uh all right, all right. here's a quick one uh, you don't have to do laundry if you don't wear clothes. <laughs> that's hey, that's the best. That's a true. Hey, that's great. That's a great tip. Yeah, it, uh, it's true. Yeah, so. that's a hundred percent true. Um, if you find food in any public place, do not eat it. I don't care if it's still in the packaging. Trust me on this one. Whoa. Okay. Well, that's new. I should probably start doing that. <laughs> uh, I wasn't doing that to live your life by. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Here we go. Uh, everything is dishwasher safe if you don't care about it. <laughs> that's true. That is very, very true. <laughs> everything is. Um, I throw my clothes a little in the lengthy. dishwasher sometimes. Hey, sometimes the washing machine's full, but you know you don't want to wait for double loads. Exactly. All right, this one's a little lengthy. 
Okay. You should only ever own three pairs of shoes. One pair of work shoes, one pair of going out shoes, and one pair of dressing shoes. If your work shoes fall apart, you're going to take your going out shoes, those are now your work shoes, and you go buy yourself a new pair of going out shoes. Ah, you just swap. It's a rotation. It's a rotation. Mm -hmm. So you're always buying new, you always get new going out shoes. Right. And then your going out shoes, your old ones become your work shoes. Yeah, because your going out shoes need to look, you know, fine. Yeah, tip top. But now, I do realize like, yeah. that uh, some people don't work in disgusting, dirty place where your shoe look, it doesn't matter what shoes you wear. Some people work in an office. If that is the case, um, your work shoes probably aren't going to fall apart that easily. So you're fine. True. Yeah, they're going to fall apart from me sitting in a chair all day. You're fine. One problem here. Um, yeah. What if my work shoes are mm -hmm. thigh length boots <laughs> um, with netting? And that might be the exception where you, you have to buy specific <laughs> work oh, shoes. Okay. For... That's well, what maybe, I wear to maybe work. Those could, uh, maybe those could be your going out shoes because that's a look. But yeah, true, true. But that's what I wear to work. So what what I would pay to see you wear those at your job, <laughs> I cannot I cannot tell you. <laughs> I would go into debt. I would be sprinting to the bank trying to take out a loan to see just <laughs> even if it's five minutes, just for five uh, minutes of that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> all right, here we go. I got a good one for you. For all you going out on dates. If your date hasn't responded to you for a whole day after your first date, just call the cops on them and they will surely give you a call after that. <laughs> hey, uh, that's it's quick and one. easy. They'll get a hold of you. Quick and that, easy and so. simple. Yeah. Um, if you have a big scar or you're missing fingers, just tell people it's an animal tech. You can get free drinks out of that. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look, I lost oh. my, my finger. Shark attack. Shark attack. Whoa, shark yeah. attack. Bro, you want a Bud Light? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to tell you about it, but, I, you know, I'm, while it's a little light and I don't really have time to, or don't really have any money to sit and drink and talk, so. <laughs> Guess I'll be going. Guess you don't want to hear about that crazy bear I fought off. <laughs> or that lionfish <laughs> that was just going for it. <laughs> lionfish. <laughs> <laughs> that would be wild. Um. Okay. Uh, if your black socks have a hole in it and it shows your toe, just color your toenail with a Sharpie and you're good to go. That's, that's perfect. Honestly. Exactly. I ain't buying new socks. Yeah, no. Why buy new socks? I mean, you're wearing shoes most of the time anyway. If you're like me, I don't take my shoes off ever, even when I'm in my own house. The only time yeah. I take my shoes off is when I take a shower when I go to bed. Freaking weird, bro. <laughs> why is that weird? I'm, hey, you know what I am? Always prepared. Oh, there's, some, there's an emergency? I'm out. I'm not fumbling with my shoes. I'm out of here. This is a quick tip right now. Always wear shoes in the I mean, house. I, I always wear shoes in the house. That's a, that's a freebie. <laughs> Didn't write it down, but it's a freebie. <laughs> I am currently barefoot. So, uh, but yeah. Uh, no, I'm currently wearing shoes. <laughs> um, yeah, I figured. All right, here's, here's a good tip. Don't do drugs unless you want to have fun. <laughs> 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 Take that, uh, dare! <laughs> uh, I got, I got one more. I got one more as well. You want me to fire mine right. off? And yeah, fire yours off. All right, this is a good one. When throwing out your new TV box, be sure to put it by your neighbor's trash so your house doesn't get robbed. <laughs> That's honestly a really good tip. Sorry, I neighbors. Know. Sorry, I'm not you joking. might get robbed. <laughs> I'm <Yeah>. not getting robbed. <laughs> I have a TV box that is sitting in my kitchen for the past two weeks for that exact reason, <laughs> because I don't know how to get rid of it, but I'm not just going to leave it out by the curb. Um, Put it at the neighbor's. All right. <laughs> Here's my last. This is the best tip, I think. Screw the tiger tip. I think this is the best tip I can offer anybody. Oh, let's go. I wrote it. I was so confident about this tip that I wrote it in all caps. What? And I'm going to yell it at you. You ready for this? <clears throat> ear, ear plugs. Mm. Do not try new things. Stay in your bubble where it is safe. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
<laughs> that's your tip that's the best tip why hey you can't get hurt if you're never if you never try anything new your tip is the premise of the movie bubble boy yeah i mean i it's a theoretical bubble i mean it's your safe zone you've seen that movie your comfort you've zone. seen that movie yes i've seen bubble boy everybody has all right is that what it's called actually i don't even know if that's what it's called but, but yeah it's bubble boy is it bubble boy or maybe it's oh, god you got me all twisted now Wow. Oh, yeah. Stay in your lane. Basically. It is bubble boy. <laughs> yep. Stick in your comfort zone. That's all I got to say. Don't, don't, don't try new out. things. Don't do no. anything wild. Don't no, do anything no, no, different. No, no. <laughs> just stick it. Just stay. Just do your nine to five. Go home. <laughs> eat copious eat amount of cereal like I do. Um, just, you know, live a, a mediocre at- life. Eight o'clock, wake yep. up, re- repeat. Yeah, live like you like you're on the set of the Truman Show. There you go. <laughs> there the you best, go, and your life will be for. great. Yeah, you're not gonna regret it at all. I promise. But uh, <laughs> hold on. Uh-oh. What's that? Yep. What? I hear him. We got a sponsor. We got a sponsor. They're banging on the door that isn't there because it's over there, but I, it, the echo, it's bouncing off the walls. Nancy, tell them Nancy, to wait. We're almost done. You will be there in a second, Nance. Thank you, Nance. She's the best. Nancy needs All a raise. Right. She <laughs> does. Uh, maybe if you guys, I don't know, spread the word on the show, we can get Nancy a raise. You know what? Hashtag <laughs> spread the word, get Nancy a raise. Yeah, yeah let's, <laughs> let's get that. Let's get the, the word out there. She deserves she she deserves that trip to Cabo that she's been talking about for the last right now. She years. only gets paid in Jolly Ranchers. So yeah, and uh, firm handshakes. So <laughs> um, it's she's been arguing with her landlord about payment, but yeah, for some reason her landlord doesn't accept Jolly Ranchers. Yeah, we <laughs> I don't know why we keep telling her it's about the exposure. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's get on over to our sponsor. All right, let's do it. Hot sponsor on the line. Here we go. Have you ever felt homesick and just needed a parent's touch? Yeah. Have you ever graduated from school and your parents couldn't attend the ceremony because they were out on vacation they planned years ago? Mm, uh, No, on that one, no. (laughs) (laughs) Have have you ever just needed a mother's home-cooked meal for dinner instead of a microwavable Salisbury steak? Yes. Yeah, that would be nice. Did you ever need your mom or dad to come with you to a paintball arena and sign the waivers for you to play, but they weren't able to go? Uh, My dad did come with me when we went, but yeah. Oh, sorry. Have you ever lied to a person (laughs) you are dating about meeting your parents, even though your parents disowned you at the age of 18 for joining an emo cult? Uh, oddly, yeah. <laughs> that, that one's real specific. Did, you, did they write that one down for me? Yeah, they're great sponsors. Uh, Man, so, crushing it. <laughs> well, no longer do you need to depend on your actual parents to make it to everything. When you have parents are us. Okay. Parents are us. Let me tell you about parents are us. Uh, yeah, please tell me. <laughs> uh, parents are us is a service. Mm -hmm. which provides rental parents. Okay, rent a parent. Cool, I'm in. Exactly. Rent a parent. Uh, We have a mom or a dad ready to be rented for any occasion. Oh, man. I am here for it. (laughs) We keep a line of skilled amateur actors Mm. uh, trying to make it in the big leagues someday uh who will take the role of being your parents for however long you need them Mm. on our website www.parentsrus.com you can choose the style of parent you need do you need a dad wearing new balance shoes and high white socks to come to your daddy daughter golf outing hold on a second am i am i looking at colvin next future we got it (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> or do you need a mom who is over talkative <laughs> to come to the doctor's office with you to ask a whole ton of questions even though you're 26 years old yes i do need that one yes we got it <laughs> yes. 
We have a wide range of different aged moms and dads with tons of different outfits. We even hit the nursing homes and hired grandmas and grandpas if you need that too. Oh, wow. We're expanded. Uh, so come on down to Parents R Us and get your parent rental started. Be sure mm. when you see us to use the promo code Daddy Mommy, please, for a buy one parent, get another one half off. Whoa. Wow. Wow, that is a deal. Wow. So our wow. sponsor, Parents Are Us. What do you think of Parents Are Us, Joe? I I am honestly 100%. I would use this service. <laughs> Dude, I, like, you're, let's say you're going to the, the paintball party that your parents weren't allowing you to go to. Right. Yo, call up Parents R Us. Yo, hey, mm. I just need your average suburban dad uh, yep. to come on down and mm -hmm. sign the waivers, ask the paintball guys, hey, how fast do these things shoot? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And then sit yeah, there yeah. and watch me play paintball for about five crack hours. Some dad jokes. Yeah, crack some dad jokes, do the crossword. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, man, that's a great Parents service. R Us has it. Yeah, they need. I need to bring them into the parent. Teach I needed to bring them into the parent teacher conferences. Exactly. Let's say you're getting straight F's and D's, and you don't yep. want your actual parents to see that. No, no. no Rent no. a parent. Rent a Rent parent. parent. Now, I do have a logistical question. Yeah. Hit now, me. since the, since these these are um, amateur actors. Yep. Um, now. Let's just say what what I would like to know what is the likelihood that they are going to break it into the big leagues. Uh, it's likely not. These are okay. actors who are usually the background scene actors mm, in a, let's okay. say a cafe or that's or maybe good. they're zombies on The Walking Dead. No, that's that's exactly what I want to hear because I mean two scenarios. Let's say I we we go through the two scenarios. I I. I have a date that I want to introduce to my parents and don't want to use my real parents for whatever reason. Maybe they're not around. And um, they meet my mom and my dad. And then let's say a year later, that dad or that mom like becomes a breakout star and they're all, in, all on all the billboards and all the posters. They're in the new Netflix show. They're on the next season of well, Stranger Things. That's going to be a hard thing to explain to the date. <laughs> it is. It yeah, is. No, but uh, I know that looks just like my mom, but I promise you that's, I could be her. I don't know. We haven't spoken in a minute. We got into a big fight. All right. We're not talking. Yeah. Right <laughs> well, it's in the fine print of the contract. I'm not, you know, but if you read it, it does say there are, there is a chance that these actors or actresses could make it in the big leagues, but you got to sign yeah. off on it. This is what happens. You know, uh, you get, it's a it's a gamble. You know, every, every business has its risks. Yeah, but usually but hey, these are these are actors who forget what names they're supposed to say while they're acting or something. Okay, <laughs> okay, so they call so, me Jason or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's like, well, that's weird that your mom called you Jason. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, you yeah. Know, I don't know. It's, it's way off of Brad. <laughs> Yeah, it's a nickname. <laughs> it's this dumb game we had when we were kids where I would just call myself Jason for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. It's oh, true. mom. Uh, You're so oh, stupid. Mom. She, we have to take her to a, to a home soon. She's really losing <laughs> it. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, but no, no for it's it. great service. Be sure to use promo code Daddy Mommy, please. Uh, and Daddy you can get the please. you can get the buy one parent, get one half off. Great deal. That is so. a killer deal. Yeah. Yeah, sweet. So parents are us. Already, uh, Great sponsor. Parents are us. We we love you. We, we appreciate you. Oh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, non-binary folk. We've got a new segment for you. Something, something we've been toiling and, and twirling over. It's called uh, Guess That Phobia. <gasps> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I have all a, right. phobia gonna work? a phobia of segments. Uh, segmophobia. All right. Yes. So how this is, how this is going to work is uh, I'm going to say a phobia, and then Cole's going to try to guess what that phobia means, and he's going to say a phobia, and, I, and then uh, I'm going to try to guess what that phobia means. You know, um, there's a lot of things to be afraid about in this world, and some of these are pretty wild. Some of these I are truly wild. I try not to judge, but... <laughs> 
It's a bit hard on some of these it to is be hard. like, it's are you really, really scared of that? Yeah, there's no way. But uh, um, I'm going to let you go first. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Let me give you an easy one here. Mm. Uh, arithmophobia. Arithmophobia. Is that a fear of math? You're close, Joe. Is You're it a close. fear of arithmetic? Basically, fear of numbers. Fear of numbers. Okay. okay. I feel like that's a difficult one. You're get, there's a lot of numbers. You are, in this you are not getting anywhere. Like literally, I mean, I can't think of a single thing. <gasps> You're gonna my laptop. Sit in a, <gasps> yeah. Oh god, the speedometer on my car. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what you can you can't, do? You, you can't go you can't, anywhere. You, you can't look at a clock. Can't tell time. No, you can't, <laughs> can't tell time. You can't use the phone. Um, you can't watch TV, that's for sure. Uh, how are you going to click to any of the channels? Um, you'll never know that's what day rough. it is. What's the temperature out? That's rough. Man, that is rough. All right, you ready for this one? Yeah, let me let me guess this one. Easy. <clears throat> oh, GG, easy. Uh, yep. Anthrophobia. Anthrophobia. Very easy. This is an easy one. Yes. Uh, scared of the store... Wait, was anthro anthropology? <laughs> uh, it is the fear of flowers. What? <laughs> it's, oh god, a dandelion! <laughs> Dude, we have a plant in our office up here, right yeah. over there. Yeah, there's another <gasps> one right over there. Oh, oh. <laughs> They're everywhere! They're coming for me! Oh. I thought that'd be like like botniophobia or something you know, yeah like... know. that's what this website says oh no it's funny i'm looking at this right now botniophobia is a fear of plants the what? other one is a fear of flowers <laughs> oh okay 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 yeah that makes sense, that makes sense. wow dude flop. that just look at how smart i am botniophobia dude man you're just <sighs> crushing it smart cole smart cole uh, uh, all right looking away from the all list right. i got another one here hmm. bat Batracophobia. <laughs> Batracophobia? Batracophobia. <sighs> Batracophobia. All right, I'm going to need a little bit of a hint here. Am I going to get it if I sound it out? No. No. Okay. Because uh, my initial thing was the fear of bath or fear of bathing. Okay. No. No, and it, it it will that help to spell the first part? B a t r a c h o. Bat track phobia, maybe bat trichophobia. Is it a fear of bats? No. no I don't it does have to do with one. animals. Uh, All um, right. I think I'm you got one more guess. One. Uh, okay. a fear of bears. No. This uh, is. Man, I thought. I thought I pulled it out of there. A fear of amphibians. <laughs> <laughs> now this is a real fear. I've I I have heard of people actually. This would make more of... sense. This I mean I can I mean I don't I have no fear of the only animal I fear is an alligator. But um, true I can yeah I mean I think that's a a fair logical fear to have. But uh, yeah uh, like I mean I've, crawlies, I know people I mean... who are afraid of yeah frogs and toads i think it's outrageous because they definitely can't and won't hurt you but no no neither no. do flowers and people are afraid of those no. not gonna lie what are you numbers can't frog. hurt you i yeah. can i can clear a frog over a good i think good i distance can punch a I get frog a about up. 20 yards yeah <laughs> i think i can get a good hit on a frog <laughs> all right you ready yeah barophobia Barophobia. Yeah. Or barophobia. Now, it's B A R O phobia. Barophobia. Barophobia. I'm going to let you know you're not going to get it from sounding it out. All right. All right. Barophobia. Baro. 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 Uh, let's see. You're not going to get it by sounding it out. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fear. Of stairs. 
I, you know what? I mean, you're wrong, but you're closer than I would expect. It's the fear of gravity. Dang. <laughs> that was a, honestly, that was the most random thing I could think of. And that's what I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, I had stairs and gravity. They kind of go hand in hand. You fear can't of walk gravity. downstairs with a, so, so like, I don't know how you have that. Is that like basically like like fear of falling? I mean, kind of goes I guess. in that realm. Or are you just or are you constantly in a state of fear because gravity is keeping you down? <laughs> gravity. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, it's always right. pulling me down. You know that you know that singer? I don't know. John Mayer? Gravity? Gravity. Dude. All right. Uh, next one I have is, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm going to try a Phoebe phobia, a Phoebe phobia. I think that's how you say it. It's E P H E B I phobia. I don't know if that would be a Phoebe phobia or a Phoebe phobia. A phobia. This one's out. Is there. it? So I should it's just take a spelling shot. Spelling doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. So I should just take a shot in the dark. Um, is this a fear of shoelaces? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> this is the fear of teenagers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. That's hard not to laugh at that. I yeah, mean, the I, fear. I mean, I, teenagers. How many these teenagers days, do you think you could take in a fight? I think I could take about four or five. <laughs> I, think, I mean, maybe that's something that's wrong with me. I think I could take a good dozen. I mean, if they're coming I, at me one at a time. I, I mean, if they're if they're gonna gang pile me all at once, then yeah, maybe four or five. But teenagers are a bit wild these days you know they're just but like... they're 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 on two different they're they're either look like they're in their 40s because they're so stacked yeah. or they look like uh, like they're five years old like there's just no in between anymore. true i don't understand true yeah i know <laughs> i mean like i watch like college basketball or something and you see mm -hmm. someone who's like they're 18 because they just yeah. came out of high school and you're like bro like that dude's 18 he's got a full beard <laughs> And, oh yeah and, <laughs> yeah but no no yeah teenagers i mean eh, i think it'd take four or five four or five yeah i would try <laughs> that's for sure oh 100 percent. yeah you know the gaggle of teenagers come up run a up gaggle on yeah uh, yeah I'm, they're I'm gonna swinging. get it. i don't care i'm how pulling out the whole helicopter move and i'm spinning mm -hmm. in a circle just fists Hands are rated e for everyone <laughs> 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 All righty. Hmm. Trying to determine which one I want to do here. Uh, I'll, I'll throw you a lob. Uh, oh, gosh. Chromophobia. It's not a lob. I mean, I I would get this, but chromophobia. I mean, is it the fear of chrome? No, 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 no. Well, I mean, chrome would probably be categorized. Does it have to do with the... chromosomes then? No, you're closer on the first bit. Chrome Chromophobia. Chromophobia. I got nothing. I don't know. What is it? It's the fear of colors. Oh, well, yeah, this does do more with your paint, right? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, colors. The chroma, chroma, yes. yes I you know, know colors. colors, like. Yeah, blue, I've seen them. Mm -hmm. Like black. There's like yeah. yellow. Mm -hmm. There's like there's like pink. Uh, yeah, there is pink sometimes. There's like light blue. Uh, yeah, dark blue as well. Dark. You were all right. I forgot about that. There's like oh, there's, hold on, hold on. Green. Uh, you're you're messing up our future segment. Uh, list the colors. So just oh, <laughs> oh dang it. <laughs> you're, you're giving up. My bad. Giving up the all right. Bad. Yeah. Tune in next week. We might do colors. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, here I got one for you. Okay. Genophobia. Genophobia. G 
E N U phobia. Am I going to get it by sounding it out? No. See, I don't know if it would be Ginu or Genu. I don't know, but either way, it's not going to help you. <laughs> um, I'm going to say the f- f- fear of ankles. Bro, not too far off. <laughs> Am I close? This is the fear of knees. <laughs> oh my god! What a that guess, was a, dude! That was a guess, dude. I I was just literally looking down, thinking like I don't know. I was gonna say toes. Man, I, I was close, dude. You were that like was, you were literally a foot off. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was a couple hey, of was inches in off. Yeah. That's wild, dude. What a guess. That was a what a guess. Um, uh, heliophobia. 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 Now I'm gonna go ahead and say it's not a fear of <laughs> helicopters. No, no, no. There is there is a movie that I'm gonna try to play this out for you. There is a Ooh, movie that okay. we watched as a when we were younger. You and me that, specifically. So, I'm pretty sure me and you watched it. I know you've seen this movie. Okay. Where the character, there's a character in this movie who has this very specific fear. And it's like, it's the whole, it's a, it's a comedy. It's like the whole joke. We rarely ever see the character. We just, it cuts to him every now and then. There's a scene with a Girl Scouts. Fear of the sun. Yes. There's a fear of the sun. Benchwarmers. Oh man, I forgot about that movie actually. Now that one I've heard more of actually. Fear of the Sun. I feel like I've heard. I think of that that's one. a wild fear though. <laughs> like, it is. I've, I mean, I've heard of it, but it's just like one of those things where it's just. I don't know. That's just a fear made up for introverts who don't want to go outside. Yeah, they don't want to leave. That's you know what? That's what I'm just gonna start saying. <laughs> Sorry, I can't make it to work. I'm afraid of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna work from home. Yeah, I'm going to work from home. I'm going to paint the cars from home. <laughs> bring them here. <laughs> yeah, bring them here. Uh, all right. What, what do you got? Yeah, I got one for you here. It's right. phobophobia. <laughs> Is it a fear of phobias? You got it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> all right. I have heard of this one in the past. Are you Are you ready? Yeah. Hippopotomonostrosis quipedoliophobia. <sighs> Bro, come on. <laughs> uh, All I heard hippo- at the start was hippo. Yeah, hippopotomonostrosis quip- quipedoliophobia. H i p p o p o t o m o H I P P O P O T O M O N S T R O S E S Q U I P E D A L I O P H O B I A. Yeah, like that helped me right there. Uh, <laughs> this is a fear of hippos running. No, no, this is the biggest troll in the world because it's the fear of long words. Oh my gosh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> and that's oh, a long word. Lo- that's a huge, it's a very long word. Oh man. Okay. Uh I got one more for you. Okay. Wicca phobia. Wicca phobia. W I C C A phobia. Uh fear of magic. Kind of close. Is it a fear this of witchcraft? Is, there you go. Mm-hmm. Fear of witches and witchcraft. Yeah. I thought you had a chance for this one. Yeah, I know my Wicca. Wicca. Um, Wicca. Uh, and welcome back. We're at the wrap up, Kolsky. Wrap it up, Kolskidly. I think it's time <laughs> that we find out. What's been grinding your gears this week? Yeah, I'll let you know what's been grinding my gears. Uh, you let me know. Been, this has been grinding my gears for a while now. Um, mm. Ever since college finished, basically. But it's... Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. 
It's being an adult and having to plan my meals. <laughs> <laughs> Oddly, I think our, our grinding my gears is going to be fairly similar this week. I, I hate that. I absolutely hate it. I, I like eating food a lot, but uh, having to plan it and prep it uh, freaking sucks. Yeah, it does suck. Like, honestly, if I could sign up to have the lunch ladies I had in high school just like, oh my God, dude, work for me and just like, lunch is ready. Uh, yeah. And then just like serve the same thing for dinner. Honestly, like, dude, I'd be down. Please, please, folks at home, just share this show. Let everybody know so we can hire our high school lunch ladies to come serve us food. And for the Nancy, nicest of course, people so on Nancy, earth. They are but, so nice. But yeah, please, also, please, so I'm Nancy can. You. We can up her pay to yeah. Hubba Bubba Max gum. Like, yeah, maybe some big league chew. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. But, but yeah, no, that, I, yeah, I, I 100% agree. I hate it. Yeah. Yeah, I can I need, I can, th- I need I can to see, see a that. therapist. <laughs> oh, man. All right. What's well, been grinding my gears? Yeah, I want to know. It is, it is food delivery services have been grinding my oh, gears. Now are we now, talking like Uber Cole, Eats or? Yeah, I'm talking Uber Eats and GoPuff and all those. Like Cole, I don't like planning out my meals. So what do I do? I don't. I just wait <laughs> until I'm hungry. Then I go, hmm, I should probably eat something. Uh, problem being, I hate going to the grocery store. I try to go... Uh, one time a month yep. and just get as much as I can. So like I, I tend to, I tend to Uber eats cause I also hate leaving my house and I, I just hate the shifty, like skeevy stuff that like, it's so it is what my issue with Uber eats is that if they would just be honest, I think I could be down with it. It's just, I hate using it because when I use it, I know that it's just so it just feels dirty. Because, like, if you look at, uh, let's say you go, you're ordering Taco Bell food, right? And uh, you you get a, a soft taco, something that's usually, like, $1.30. It's, like, $2.30 on Uber Eats. Yeah, and then, yeah. like, so, like, they mark up the individual items. And then they, they charge you to get it delivered, which is fair. They got to pay the person to deliver it. And then, yes, I, I will tip the person who delivers it naturally. And then they charge, like, surcharges and stuff like that. There's just like, so many different charges for yeah, it. Yeah, like. a, a, a $6 mi- a meal at Taco Bell is now turned into a $25 to $30 meal after you tip a fair amount. Like, Pretty wild. And it's like I get it. Like I'm paying because I don't want to leave my house. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know, man. That just seems like a ridiculous amount, you know? <laughs> like, uh, it's but yeah, pretty I crazy. Just, if they would just like honestly just not double charge me for food, and like, let me pay the actual price for food. And then they just said, hey, for every order, there's a $6 charge so Uber can make money. I'd say, okay, fine. But it's like there, they try to hide sense. it. Yeah, they try to hide yeah. it in places. And it just makes me so mad. Yeah. Grinds my yeah. gears. I totally agree. That's why I've only eaten cereal for the last four days. <laughs> <laughs> if Oreos. anyone wants to join up on Joe's diet plan. Yeah, it's um, okay. This is what you do. Some quick tips for you. We'll, we'll, we'll do a double pack on quick tips for dietary. What you want to do, go to the grocery store as little as possible. Scavenge your house. You, you, like I'm talking at three in the morning when you're still awake because you can't sleep. Eat that sleeve of saltine crackers that's in your pantry. And then you're not going to eat yeah. all day, right? And then when it comes to dinner time, you're just going to eat copious amounts of one food. It may, maybe it's cereal. Maybe it's the steak that I eat that I ate three days in a row. Whatever it is, you're just going to stick to one food. And that entire time, you might think one meal a day, there's no way I'm going to be full. It's easy. What you're going to do is you're just going to drink energy drinks instead. Yeah, yeah. Because those will upset you your stomach pretty good. And yeah, just... <laughs> it fills you up. It gives you the energy you need. So, I mean, honestly, if do you know what Soylent is? What is that? Soylent is it's a company that's tried to replace food with a beverage. Oh, so, I've heard of that. Yeah, honestly, if it didn't taste like like glue and and sand, I would be down with Soylent. <laughs> like if I could just drink whatever it takes to keep me alive, I'd be fine with it. I mean, every now and then I'm going to want steak and mashed potatoes, but like 
for on a day to day basis, if I could just drink a shake a day that and it keeps me alive and fine, I'd be f- all for it. I mean, honestly, Joe, you you probably could bring drink some nutrition drinks and be good. yeah. I mean, yeah, like I mean, smoothies. Peak physical. Like you ain't gonna make those. Come on. No. Well, yeah. What are, what do you expect me to go buy fruit and fresh vegetables all the time? Exactly. You're out of your mind. I do love <laughs> I do love fruit though. But okay. Oh. The gears have been ground. Yep. Let's 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 get into the beautiful garden of life, and let's get digging. Beautiful. Wow, my garden is shining today. If the tulips. Uh, let are me sprouting. pick this over here. Oh, it's videos of people's dogs doing dog things. <laughs> oh man, that is in my garden as well. Oh, oh, oh look, I got man, it right I here, just... right next to the peppers. Oh, there you go. <laughs> See, yeah, like everyone. Dude, I think it needs to grow. Who doesn't a little like bit. a video of a dog just doing something funny? Just doing something, you know. Yeah, honestly, I could watch a video of a dog sniffing around. I'd be yeah, like, just That's doing a cute dog. Yeah, it's a good looking dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anybody who has a video of a dog doing something, like, there's so many Reddit pages I follow just about dogs, like, just doing mm. dog stuff and just, just doing dog hanging stuff. out. It's, yeah. it's, it's great. It is great. It brings serotonin, I think, to my brain. It's a straight uh, serotonin drip straight into the veins. Yeah, it's so enjoyable. So. Yeah. yeah, great. I love it. I do love that. What do you dig? Now, this is a. Uh, some of you might consider this a bit of a cheap shot, but this week, something that I dig and am grateful for, and this isn't a plug. This is an honest god dig. It is okay. this show. Ooh, let's uh, go. Well, I mean, we've only been, I mean, we've been doing this what, two, three months. Has it even been that long? Well, we started in May, May, May third, I think, is when we. Well, I mean, that's when we did Maybe our we first did. recording. Yeah, yeah, I know. It, I know it was the beginning of May, so like that yeah. was uh, that was our first recording. May second, I wow. think it was, it was May second. It was the day of our first re- when we first started recording. We didn't start releasing until like May eleventh or something like that. But, um, but time flies. I was thinking, yeah, time flies when you're having fun, man. Uh, I was thinking about it and like. This is a peak of my week where I get to enjoy coming on here, being an idiot, saying dumb stuff with my buddy. So this is this is uh, oh, this man. is what I dig this week. <laughs> he's, he's You're gonna make me up. blush. You're gonna make me he's blush. Getting, he's he's getting all teared up. But yeah, I do and, look forward uh, to this every time. Like um, yeah, like every we time we record like, on Mondays. In, uh, mm-hmm. This makes Mondays. You make my Mondays feel like Fridays. Dang, dang, mm-hmm. dang. That's in a song. Uh, we release yeah. on Mondays and we record on Mondays. Yeah, it's dope. Um, yeah, that's fun. And that transfers to you as well. I dig you at home watching or listening or whatever you're doing to this. I dig the fact that you are here with us. That's what I dig as well. That's lumped in. Boop, 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 boop. I mean, if we didn't have anyone viewing our show, it would feel like a bummer. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, we would still do it, but yeah, it would feel like a bummer. I would still do it, one hundred percent. But yeah. it feels so much better when we get feedback <clears throat> or we see that people are, yeah. are viewing our show. <clears throat> Damn. Yeah, a little. I mean, it's not even about the validation; it's about the fact that maybe we made somebody's day a little bit better. Yeah, maybe we made your drive into work just a little bit better. Yeah, maybe you chuckled once. So if I can get one chuckle yeah. out of you, that's a success in my book. Chuckle. Maybe a smirk. Yeah. Yeah, even that. Yeah, uh, I'll take it. I'll take that. <laughs> these guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, look at these guys. That was a good one. Uh, All right, let's uh, let's get the people going. Let's get the people going. You want me to go first? You go first, Kolsky. All right, here we go. Let me pull it up here. All right, mine. Here we go. I believe the world is burning to the ground. Oh, well, I guess. I guess. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Let's see yeah. how far how far we've we go. You know this one. And I believe the world is running to, the, running ground. to the ground. Oh, well, oh, I guess we're going to find, we're out. Gonna find out. Let's see Let's how see far how we've come. come. Let's <laughs> see how far we've come. Now, the reason I chose this one because I feel like this is, well, first off, this is a classic from the Matchbox 20. 
band. Um, yep. Listen to this one since I was a wee little lad. Um, wee little lad. This, is, little this is a song I feel like that definitely resonates even right now. You know, it's just like definitely about what's going on right in now. this world. Yeah. And it's like, you know, in the, in the song, I believe the world is burning to the ground. Not going to lie. Kind of feels like that's what's going it, on right nowadays. So, it definitely uh, is. Yeah, it definitely. So maybe we can uh, go back and see how far we've come and be like, what are we doing? Yeah, what's going on here? Because we've come what a are far we doing? way. We've come a long way. And what? Now we're going to revert? Yeah. We're going to reverse it? Stupid. One step forward, two steps back? Idiotic. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? So we that doing? was my quote. Uh, hopefully it hits to the heart for you. Oh man, that kind of hurt. Mm. Um, because uh, I think it's relevant right now. So, but hopefully that gets you going. Because when I I listened to that song not even an hour ago, um, get ready for the show. Get you going for the show. <laughs> I was on the elliptical. I believe <laughs> the world is turning to the ground, and I was like, you know what? Yeah, I guess we're gonna find out. Just got me amped to be like, yeah. Dang, dude. It is. So, yeah. Man, maybe you should have uh, this week. No, 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 no. I, I'm confident what you have is going to get the people going. All right. You ready for this one? Yeah, let's do it. No great genius has ever existed without some touch of madness. That's Aristotle. Ah, Aristotle. Good guy. Good guy. Yeah. Classic. Great and, to have over yeah, for cards. Yes, yes. Great card <laughs> player. He doesn't get too mad when he loses. He's he gets a little philosophical loser. sometimes, but you know what are you gonna do? Sometimes. But yeah, no. Sometimes. No great genius has ever existed without some touch of madness. So, if you I think like you're it, a little you know? crazy, maybe you are. And that's okay. Maybe you're just crazy in the good way. Crazy about life, you know? Yeah. You can crazy turn that craziness whatever. into something good. Yeah. Craziness is just one step before being a genius. That's all it is. Exactly. And if you're not crazy, what are you what are you boring? Yeah. What are you? Come on. What are you boring? Come on. What are you regular? Don't let them know your next move. Come on. Yeah. Be a little crazy. You gotta zig when you think you're gonna zag. Yeah. Serpentine. <laughs> you got a serpentine. <laughs> a little callback for you. But um that that wraps up the show this week. Uh, we do appreciate you guys sitting down, listening and watching whatever you're doing. Um, follow us on the socials. Uh, Instagram, follow. TikTok, at let's underscore give it a shot. Yeah. Um, yeah. We we greatly appreciate it. You know, maybe... Uh, hmm, I don't know. Uh, maybe we can give it a shot next week. What do you think, Kolsky? You think you'll be here next week? Uh, I guess. I'll give it a shot. Okay. All right, well, <laughs> join us next week where uh, where we give that a shot. Let's give it a shot. Deuces.